Paul, a tremendous effort from your side today, but just came up short in the end. What's your assessment of what you've seen? Key moments in games, um, chances. You know, I think at half time we said to lads that I felt we should have been three 0 up at half time. Um, the penalty for me is never a penalty. I think probably most people would be in agreement with that. Um, but we've had opportunities in the first half to put the big game to bed, and then second half they've just been clinical when they've had their opportunities. You know, I'm not I'm not too concerned about the fourth goal. I think the third goal we could have done better with. Um, but I'm yeah, I'm bitterly disappointed with the result. But I think in terms of the performance, the work ethic, the way we adapted to a new system as well. You know, I was I was pleased with all that. Yeah, just touching on a new system. You said go for a back three or a back five, whichever yeah. you want to look at it. What was your thought process behind that? Just to get another body up the top of the pitch first and foremost, and we felt with the players we've got back available as well, we had the personnel to do that. You know, Kane coming in um, over the last couple of games, I think he's done done really, really well. I think he found it physically difficult last week, and today you could tell he was on a different level. And I thought he suited that role really well, and as did Dan Hartley. Um, and I think we looked solid for a lot of times against a good football inside. Um, so I, I was pleased with all that work, and that allowed us to get another body with DC up with Jake Day, which which made us look a little bit more of a threat than perhaps we have done at times. Uh, we've got to talk about that first half penalty warning to Workington and the ledge's handball on Jack Van. We all may as well pack up, haven't we? If that's a penalty. Do you know what, mate? I'm, I'm sort of getting, just said over there as well, I'm sort of getting bored of, not no disrespect to you, bored of answering that question in terms of referees' decisions. And, you know, I've always been a big believer that, you know, things will level themselves out even over 90 minutes. But in a game like this, getting a decision like that so wrong is just, you know, just changes the direction of the game again. And how many times have I said that this year? You know, I'm sort of. Feel like a broken record. Um, it's not. There's nothing Vanny can do to get his hand in any different position. He's gone to clear it and he's hit his hand on the way out. You know, I don't know where he's supposed to put his hand. And if that's on ball for me, then as you said, we may as well just all back up and call it a do. Uh, Jake Day got off to a flyer in the second minute with an exquisite finish to the goal behind you there. Yeah. Um, however, he's missed late on in the first half. It was a massive bet, wasn't it? Yeah, no two ways about it. Um, he knows that. Um, but. Again, his first goal is an absolutely brilliant strike, isn't it? And he's towed his absolute backside off for the team. He's worked so hard. And again, he's, you know, we're all just waiting for the back of the net to ripple. He's just taking a little bit more, t uh, too much time and um, unfortunately not capitalised on it. So I think we've all, we all know that that should have been that should have been in the back of the net. Uh, it was a brilliant equaliser in the second half from Libby midway through that half. Um, what a goal. Brilliant goal. Um, we asked for us to be a little bit shorter in terms of what we did I don't think we were short enough at times I think there were too many long balls at times in the game um, but when we did get it down and play you know I think Vanny got his hand on the ball played a quick free kick and then Levy's third man running were able to get him in and it, you know it was a it was a really really uh, good moment in the game any complaints with Workington's third goal um was it a foul I'm not sure um I think we I don't think we set up quickly enough from the free kick I think it's preventable a goal um you know whether it's a foul or not I'm not sure I suppose when you push the runaway league leaders that close, and it's certainly positive to take into future games. Yeah, they're, and they're a good side, aren't they? Uh, you know, they've got good players that can change games, and they try and play from the back and build play. And I thought we dealt with that really well. I thought we looked comfortable for the vast majority of games. But when they got the difference between the two sides today, for me, was when they got their opportunities, they were clinical and they took them. Um, and I think we were too, um, we were we were too um, unclinical, whatever the word is, when we were in front of the goal. Uh, there was an incident in the first half where. Mike Klinger or a number of the players um, reported a, an alleged racial incident. Um, what happened exactly? Well, the referee stopped playing. I, d I didn't exactly know what he stopped play for, and then he came straight over to us. And to be fair to the referee, I thought he dealt with the situation very, very well. Um, he came over to us and said there'd been some homophobic and some racist comments behind alleged racist comments made behind the goal. Um, if that is the case, then you know, from my perspective, I just don't get go what goes through someone's head to come to a game of football and they've got the right to shout anything like that towards a player. You know, you see at the top level, don't you, some of the comments that supporters make when they go to games and why they think they've got the right to go to a football match and do that. If that has been said, then it's beyond belief, really. And for me, it's, it's a simple lifetime ban if they have done that. It's just got no place in football or society. Um, you know, at the moment it's alleged, but our players are adamant that there's been something said, so we'll see what comes of it. Yeah, our next game is due to be here against Witness on Tuesday night, but given the current state of the coronavirus yeah who knows what we're going to be playing next yeah um obviously i think from my perspective there just needs to be some clarity on what's happening going forward i think the league have been put in a really difficult position they've been damned if they do damned if they don't this weekend and it, to me the league shouldn't be put in that situation where they've got to decide uh, whether a game of football goes ahead you know they're not doctors they're not scientists they don't know the, the implications of it so it's really difficult um somebody's just got to take a stance now for me over the next couple of weeks on what happens 
Rangers fan, it seems silly how they don't shake hands before the game, but after the game, no, they're all yeah. shaking hands and hugging. So. It's habit, mate, isn't it? You can't, you can't help it. We're all sort of like being really uh, really wary of it during the game and, and before the game and after it just seems to go out the window. <laughs> that's football, I guess. Yeah, that's football, mate. Cheers, Paul. All right, Paul. Cheers, cheers. Paul. cheers.